God will remember their sins and iniquities no more. Question 3. 3A. Give an account of the report of the spies Moses sent to the land of Canaan. Reference passage is number 13. 17. 25 to 33. Give an account of the report of the spies Moses sent to the land of Canaan. Moses selected 12 men from the 12 tribes of Israel and sent them from the wilderness of Paran to spy out the land of Canaan. They are to, they are to take note of the following. If the people of the land are strong or weak, if they are few or many, if the land is good or bad, if their cities are camp or strongholds, if their land is rich or poor, whether there is wood in it or not, they were to be of good courage and bring some, some of the food of the land. At the end of 40 days, the spies Moses sent returned. They brought back word to the congregation and showed them some of the food of the land. They reported that the land flowed with milk and honey, but that the people who dwelt in the land were strong. Their cities were fortified and very large. They said that they saw the descendants of Anak, the Amalekites, the Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Canaanites. For these cities, any candidate that mentions any two names of these cities gets two marks, one mark. But Caleb quieted the people and said, Let us go up at once and occupy it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with Caleb said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. These men brought to the people an evil report of the land they had spied. They claimed that the land through which they had gone to spy was a land that the world took inhabitants that all the people they saw were men of great stature. They also revealed that they saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anna, who came from Nephilim. And they said that they seemed to themselves like grasshoppers before this men. And as such, they discouraged the people from going down to fight from his land. 3B. Identify three lessons that can be drawn from this incident. Three lessons that can be drawn from this incident. Two marks each for each point. We should be courageous to tell the truth always. A beautiful and good place will still have its challenges and flaws or its faults. Three, it takes faith to believe you can be victorious when you face odds or challenges. Four, need to avoid inferiority complex. Five, it's for people to have high self-image or self-esteem. Question 
West on 4. 4 it states the background of King Solomon's wisdom. The reference passage is 4 Kings 3, 3 to 15. 4 Kings chapter 3, verse 3 to 15. Loved the Lord and followed the instruction of his father David and walked in the way and status of his father David. On one occasion, he went to Gibeon to offer sacrifice because that was the great high place. He used to offer a thousand bond offerings there in the past. That night, the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Ask what I shall give you. Solomon answered, You always showed great and steadfast love to my father David, your servant, because he walked before you in faithfulness, in righteousness and in uprightness of heart and has continued to show that God and steadfastness by giving him a son today to rule over his people or to sit on his throne. He, he recognized the fact that God allowed him to succeed his father as king even though he was a very young man who didn't know how to rule or govern the people. He therefore asked that God should give him wisdom to be able to rule the people with justice and to know the difference between good and evil. In other words, that God should give him an understanding mind to govern the people and to be able to discern between right and wrong or good and evil. The Lord was pleased with Solomon's request. And God said, Because you have asked for the wisdom to rule justice, instead of long life for yourself or riches or the death of your enemy. I will give you what you have asked for. An understanding mind to discern what is right. Like none before you and none after you. I also give you what you have not asked for both rich and honor, so that no king shall compare with you all your days. And if you will walk in my way, keeping my test and commandments like your father, I will let you your days. Question for me. Four wide engagements of Solomon and three wide on wide chunks of Solomon. Four B is wide engagement on wide chunks of Solomon. We have the judgment between two halots who were fighting over a baby. In that case, Solomon divides the wise judgment. That's one of the wise engagements. Two, Solomon spoke 3,000 proverbs and 1,005 sons. For reference purposes, you can read 14 or 5, 9 to 12. 
با پایت نوبت توسته ما گفتری تازم پروبر این سان بویه این تازم هم فرد با در فرس پایت جاجمنت نوبر این تو پلا بویه فرد نوبر این برید فرس گیم برید سکتیم سوانتی ایت در فرس پایت He made arrangements with King Hiram of Tyre to supply him cedar and cypress timber for the building of the temple. 4 Kings 5, 15-25 point. Solomon gave yearly supply of 20,000 tons of wheat and 20,000 tons of barley to Hiram and his men. 4 Kings 5, 25 Solomon built his own house and a temple for the worship of God. First Kings chapter five, chapter six and seven. Solomon built his own house and a temple for the worship of God. First Kings chapter six and seven. The next point. 